as Lonely Planet said. Dalat is an alternative Vietnam. The weather is spring-like instead of tropical hot. The town is dotted with elegant French colonial villas rather than stark socialist architecture, and the surrounding farms cultivate strawberries, coffee, and flowers in place of rice. The French came first here, fleeing the heat of Saigon for average daily temperatures that hover between 15 and 24 degrees. So we just finished arranging this, this the last two pots, and it's all, it's all ready to go. Our job done here. Where we are, by the way? We are in a Dalat flower garden. Hello! We just entered, so we don't know how, how it is. But uh, the swans I like already. Look shiny. Founded in 1966, it features more than 300 different kinds of flowers. Winter and spring are the best time to visit Dalat flower gardens as everything is blooming there. But better here, yeah. It's quite interesting. Yeah, they're just putting them next to each other. Super. And in front maybe some bamboo decoration. And you have anywhere garden. What's your name? Oh, huh? V. V? Every two years, the gardens transform into one of the venues for the Spring Flower Fair and the Winter Flower Festival. A lake is located in the middle of Dalat Flower Gardens, where you can paddle around in swan boats. Nice city, big. Nice architecture. It's in Europe here compared to Vietnam. You can feel that it was just a French build and there is some similarities with the French architecture. A lot of flowers have flowers everywhere. Dalat supplies for all over Vietnam – cabbage, cauliflower, coffee and wine. Its flower industry produces two typical flowers – hydrangean and golden everlasting. Dalat is considered a city of thousands of pine trees. Large and modern pagoda, known for its intricate mosaic, made from broken glass and pottery shards. Construction of the temple was started in 1949 and completed in 1952. In front of the temple, there is a 37 meters high, 7 storey tower, which is considered the highest temple bell tower in Vietnam. The temple grounds have a 49 meters long dragon, which is made of 12,000 beer bottles. The dragon's head is 7 meters high. I have an eye. I'm not very sure the pronunciation of this place, but these ladies, they can help us. What's the name of it? Hello, we are from China. So, we are Chinese and this place is Chinese. What's the correct name of it? Lingfu Temple. It's uh, nice dragons, nice uh, lions, nice tourists. <laughs> Everything nice here. Yeah. Heaviest bell of Vietnam is also there, with 4.3 meters high and 2.3 meters wide. It was cast in 1999 and weighs eight and a half tons. Maxim! Friend Park is an amusement park constructed around the 20 meters high waterfall. 
It's located 10 kilometers away from Dalat, in a beautiful scenery of hills and mountains. If you're traveling with a family, then it could be a good place to spend your afternoon there. Kids will enjoy statues and sculptures, while adults can go for a fun ride on the roller coaster. I can watch this thing forever. Forever magical. Forever ever ever. Recommended to visit from Monday to Friday, as a lot of local tourists come in here during the weekends. This human is heavy. Mm. I actually feel sorry for this animal. I don't want to contribute any money for this. Here everything reminds you about the uh, Soviet Union. Rollercoast is the most fun part of our visit, as it's pretty fast and you are controlling the speed. We had a bit of traffic jam and it's annoying. I think they would need to increase the time between each ride. 2 euro 50 cents felt pretty expensive for 3 minutes ride, especially in Vietnam, as you can have a couple of meals for that money. It is nice. Truklam Dalat Zen Monastery was established with the aim of restoring Zen traditions by harmoniously combining different Zen schools with Vietnamese culture and tradition intra Vietnamese Zen. This pagoda was built in 1993-94 and was designed with the oriental architecture style. With the beautiful landscapes, the pagoda is not only a place for meditation, but also an ideal place for visiting. There are two domestic quarters, for monks and nuns respectively. Each of the domestic quarters has two meeting rooms for Sankha, a meditational hall, a kitchen, dining room and a shed. Currently, there are approximately 50 monks and 50 nuns in religious practice at the temple. It was a nice experience to chat to monks and see them at work while they were improving their home. So from 1 to 10, how much do you rate the lot? The lot? Yeah, let's go for 8. It is a nice place. It's quite nice for the like Vietnamese standards, I guess. It's very touristic. And uh, a lot of hotels here. Yeah, hotels, but I didn't see that many tourists actually. Maybe we were staying in, like, in the area where not that many tourists. but Maybe local tourists. We need to carry on driving. Sea is calling us. Yeah, let's go, my friend. Yeah. This was hands down one of the best rides during this trip. Even in cold and foggy weather, we enjoy a variety of landscapes, waterfalls and rock formations. It seems that it's a popular route for local badass bikers as well, just like us. Enjoy this 7.7 km long flight.
Katrang, quite a nice uh, beach city. Very uh -huh. touristic, nice beach. Busy and windy. And the road from Dalat to here was very impressive, huh? We were thinking we will take four hours, but in reality we took all day almost. First impression of this place, really touristic, huh? Probably a couple thousand hotels here. And they have a red flag today, so no swimming. But the waves are amazing, so it would be nice to jump like last time. And we have a bad news actually. We put the time lapse. We went and we forgot about the GoPro, so minus... We spent a night in Hatrang and we found it quite vibrant with a lot of tourists and nightlife. Surprisingly, a lot of tourists from Russia. After a big night out, walking around the center with a few coconut drinks, we felt like we need to nourish our souls with a bit of spiritual energy. This temple complex was built between 8th and 11th centuries by the Cham people who once ruled the central plain of Vietnam. There were once 10 buildings each dedicated to a different deity, but now only four remain. The tallest building, the 25 meters Ponagar Kalan, is the most impressive. The Chinese want money, eh? Yes, thank you. Happiness, money, yes, sir. more love. I should take a suitcase with me in case, uh, so I, you know, so I come out with money. <laughs> Are you ready for happiness and money? Give me a bigger backpack. The Cham people, who were Hindu in origin, had their own Sanskrit-based script. They are renowned for their skills in sculpture and architecture, and left behind a legacy of artifacts and temple settlements, not only in Vietnam, but also Cambodia and Thailand. In the 14th century, the kingdom of Champa fell into the hand of the invading Viet, whose descendants are today the Vietnamese people. A small minority of Cham people, now an ethnical minority, still live in the central plain somewhere near Da Nang. Ponagar Temple is one of the main tourist attractions in the city, and it's only two kilometers from the center, so it's definitely worth a visit. It's very beautiful here, a part of the whole rubbish in front. Every beautiful place has a rubbish behind the scene. So you need to put sort of a filter on your eyes so you can see just the beautiful part. And uh, unfortunately most videos showing only the beauty side of the country. Come on. We saw many times people just in the traffic light taking last cigarette throwing the packet in the floor. We have Google Maps where we are. We just passed uh, Tui Hoa. We stayed there for the night. It's the first time it's raining in uh, one month and a half. Yeah, I think that's the first and the last, I guess. I hope so. I checked the forecast. So. It's yeah. really not nice to drive when it's raining. Yeah. And you don't see that much stuff. It kind of gets more dangerous as well. So. 
we were considering to take the bus by then I think it's more hustle. We have enough gear to drive in the rain so we just carry on. One of the best advices is take your rubbish bags. And remember to go with the flow, the local flow, just get the poncho. Yeah. Everyone is wearing ponchos here.